Yeah, we are on a roll with these non-stop videos. I told you I will be trying to do these daily vlogs again. I actually requested less hours at my full-time job just so I can continue to making these awesome vlogs for you guys. But the one thing I do ask for you guys, just support me. Go down to the link down below, buy yourself a t-shirt, buy yourself a pair of shorts, whatever you is. You know, I don't want any donations money, but buy yourself something. It helps me and it also helps you guys. And it helps me make these awesome videos. You know, if I can make a certain amount per day from the items that I sell, then I won't need a full-time job and these videos will come every single day. So today we're gonna hit a Buffalo exchange as well as a couple of Goodwills. Maybe we'll hit up the mall. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. Hey. What up, what up? How are you? Nothing good, nothing good. Marlboro. Mochino jeans, leather jacket. Mochino's a very expensive brand. Then we got this vintage Nike. Great tag. So fire. Jesus, look at this Adidas jersey. Crazy. <laughs> Burberry. <laughs> Vintage Tommy Hill figure. Some hats, we got some Stussy hat, got a Miami Heat. Let's see what else we got, anything special. Sharks. Nothing special today, Drake. Diamond Supply, North Face. Well, I knew that this was gonna happen. Basically, the manager or the GM of Buffalo Exchange left and now it's going to shit. I brought a backpack full of stuff. They only bought two items. So I only left with that Nike, vintage Nike jacket. The rest I had to leave. So I don't know if we're gonna be doing trips to Buffalo Exchange. I'm gonna have to see how it goes, but it, from my understanding, it looks like it's gonna go to shit. Vintage Lacoste, Izod. Vintage Mickey. No good shoes today at all. Damn, I thought we really came up on a Chanel scarf. But it's nothing. Adidas Windbreaker. Found this Rolling Stone shirt off the rack. It is a reprint, but still pretty sick. It's 2XL all over money jacket. It's kind of hard, but if it's 2XL though, damn, I don't know. Perfect time for this shirt. We have a Christmas story. Vintage Nautica bin suit. Fortunately, we're getting in the winter season, so we're gonna leave this. Just came across this Uniqlo collab with Cause. All over print shirt, super fire. When I first saw this, I thought it was Tommy Hilfiger, but we got the vintage DKNY. I'm not sure if it's women's or men's, size medium. So we just walked into this Goodwill and they have fake Gucci sneakers. They're asking $150. I don't know why these people think these are real. They're 100% fake. Horrible fakes at that. We also have the Cause X Peanuts. They're asking $30 though. So honestly, compared to the last two vlogs, today was definitely a dry day. We only found four items, but they're not trash items. I think they are pretty nice items. So to start it off, we have a size XL. We have this Rolling Stones reprint with like the bleach dyed effect all over. This shirt is absolutely sick. It's only a single side though. If it was double sided, it'd be even better, but still a really nice reprint. Then perfect timing, Christmas is coming up, so if you guys haven't watched the Christmas movie, I'm sure it'll be on TV multiple times throughout this December. This is a size XL. We have the Christmas story with all the little gadgets. Another size XL, we have this collab with Uniqlo and Cause. 
with the cause eyeballs all over. And this can fit a large, even though it says XL, like I tried it on and it fits really nice for a large. It's just like that baggy fit. Now for the grail of today, we have this vintage Nike windbreaker. Now this says it's a medium, but I tried it on and it fits exactly like a true large or about a medium. Now if you want a true large, like exactly perfect fit, I'm talking like the sleeves fit perfect on my arms, exactly perfect, wasn't baggy fit at all. So we have like this print going down with the little Nike pull tab. It's like a half zip. We have a teal Nike swoosh right there. Then followed on the back, a huge Nike swoosh. Followed up with more of the print. This is just absolutely insane. So fire, such a nice piece. Link down below. Now for the final piece of today, which honestly you guys saw in the last clip before I sat down and started doing this, and I wasn't gonna pick it up at all because you guys saw it, they were asking an unreal insane price. But the manager was standing right there, that's why I kept saying like, oh these are bad fakes, blah blah blah, to try to see you know, if I can try to talk to him. Well, he knows me, I started talking and I was like, yo, these Gucci's are not real or at least I think they're not real. Like I just kept saying they're not real. I was like, yo, these are bad fakes, blah, blah, blah. Gucci never made this style, even though you guys know that they did. And he was like, oh, really? I thought they were real, blah, blah, blah. He's like, how much do you want to do it for? Me and him going back and forth, going back and forth. We finally reached an agreement on a price that we both were comfortable in getting it. So I left with the Gucci sneakers. Again, I'm almost 90% positive these are fake bootleg. But they are very good bootlegs because there is no like flaws or no marking that really shows that these are unauthentic. The only thing that the real authentic pair of the Gucci has, so if you guys see right here where it's blue and red, it's supposed to be shiny as well. And if you guys notice, there's no shine at all. That's completely dull. On the real ones, there is a glim there is glitter in that blue and red. So that's one thing that is different between the authentic and the unauthentic. Now another big giveaway is that there is no numbers at all, meaning no serial number or size number inside this sneaker at all. I did try it on and it's literally about an inch too small, so I'm thinking that this is a men's US 11. Considering I wear a size 11 and a half, this does fit me, but my toes kind of rub up front when I walk, so I'm gonna price these. So I'm gonna say that these are a men US 11 and I will be selling them unauthentic bootleg Gucci sneakers. Now, there could be a chance that there might be a possibility that these are authentic, but again, I'm pretty good at authenticating. I've seen multiple sneakers, especially Gucci. We go into Gucci all the time, so I'm familiar, and I'm almost positive that these are fake. But again, very good fakes. If you're wearing them on feet, no one's gonna know like, yo, those aren't real. They're not like how the Yeezys, you can really tell. The only the real Gucci Gucci heads will know that these are unauthentic again by the glitter not having on the red and blue. So US size 11 will be linked down below as well as if you guys didn't check out yesterday's episode, make sure you guys go check out that. My trip to the thrift was insane. Literally 10 minutes of nothing but inside the thrift store. I didn't do a recap, I actually separated the recap for another 10 minute video so you guys can watch that too, kind of separate. And I think I'm gonna start doing that from now on. If I notice I have amazing days like that, then I'll start separating the hauls so that way the people that wanna watch nothing but thrifting can watch that and the people that wanna watch thrifting and the haul, well they can watch that as well. Also, make sure you guys go check out my pump video. I'm trying to get that viral again. It's about to be a 5K sub. It's about to be a 5K views, which is pretty low. I figured it'd be at least 10K. But my last pump video didn't go viral for about a month of it going around. So I'm not stressing about it. Just make sure you guys go smash the like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Guys, we are so close to 30,000 subs. We're gonna hit 29K, I believe, in the next day or two, and then 30K, and then just so on from there. The next big milestone for me is 50K, obviously half of 100, 100 you get that gold, 100 you get that silver plaque, and that is the goal of 2018 to hit 100,000 subs. I think we can do it. Actually, I know we will do it. We'll actually, we'll probably have more than 100K. We're gonna be on the grind. We're gonna be making these daily content videos. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. 
Again, check out link down below for all my vintage website. I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog, and don't forget, guys, let's get it. Early driving crazy, AMG Mercedes, speeding down the highway, looking at the street lights, kicking on a Friday.